how why you were so on me about everything because right, you because want I was me to do what a, you I were doing. I was doing crazy shit. But I was still doing crazy shit, the same things you were but, doing, except you didn't know I had okay grades still. I was super polite and no one ever thought I was a drug addict. Well, how are you a drug addict if you're smoking weed? I was doing coke my whole fucking high school years and uh, fucking doing pills. The well, as long whole time. as you weren't doing like meth and I pills. I did smoke meth. What pills? I was popping ecstasy a lot. Oh shit, you're a crazy. Lot. Crazy. Oh! What's up, YouTube? Dope is Yellow here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Today I'm with my mom. Hello. And <laughs> with my mom. What's up, YouTube? Dope is Yellow here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Welcome back to Story Time. The Story Time's a little different. You, uh, this is a fuck off. Ready, go. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Dope is Yellow here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Welcome back to Story Time. As you can see, it's a little different. I'm with my mom. Emily, oh, hello. It's my mom. Today, guys, we're gonna do a story time. I'm asking you stuff. I'm gonna talk about some stuff. But the main point is to embarrass the fuck out of you. Me? Yeah, hundred percent. Dude, why? You ready? Go. No. So, first story. What's the first time you ever got high? What's the first time you could remember getting high? And how old were you? The first time I got high, I was about twelve, I think. Well, on that trail behind me there near 7-Eleven. Oh, that's where I almost got robbed on story time for the pizza. Did you? Those apartments right behind that 7-Eleven. That's where I almost was robbed by those dudes. They're going to beat my ass. Well, who'd you smoke with? Uh, One of my friends. And then what happened? Because we were like, we were kids, dude. And so we were scared. <sighs> yeah, you didn't go home. And then like, we're smoking this shit. And then some dude decides to walk through it. And so we're freaking out. So we, oh, that's a cop. And Did you just, run away? No, we just kept walking. But it was like, it ruined it. Oh, fuck yeah, ruined, ruined it. Ruined it completely. It's horrible. Do you want to hit this joint? <laughs> what, not too much? No, you all right? This is my mom's weed that she has in here. It's CBD and THC. But now, she's smoking the Venom. Oh, nice, Vanna White shit. For the first time you were 12, I was yeah. just turned 13 the first time I got it. Yeah, I was terrible when I was a kid. You were oh, terrible. Oh, yeah, awful. you were a dickhead. I was... You told me you were a dickhead. Are you really ashing in my beer, Holmes? <laughs> you ashed in my beer. I thought it was that can. That's Coke. I'm drinking this beer. Don't drink it now. I'll get you a different one. Nah. Fuck. It's, it's fine. It's fine. My bad. Well, now I'm going to keep ashing in it. Well, yeah. You might as well finish it now. Fuck. <laughs> What's the next drug you did? Stuff. Say it. I was a very big fan of PCP. I hated PCP. I loved it. I loved it until I went to LA and smoked it. Then it was like a problem. So what happened? What was the first time you smoked PCP? How old were you? Uh, I was probably like 14. Damn. Me too. Oh shit. You are my kid. Hold on. Before you think we're a family of drug addicts, I hid this from her because she would have fucking stabbed me in the face. Well, she went to Ed. What happened? I don't know. I woke up. You woke up there. I woke up there. I don't know how I got there. I Wait, was in the Hollywood Hills. you were 14, Hills. how did you get to LA? On the bus. By yourself? On the Greyhound bus, yeah. I was in the Hollywood Hills. It was New Year's Eve. I smoked that shit. And then I remember a little bit. I remember like Heart was playing. Nice. Yeah, that's it. I woke up the next day in my pajamas. And you were scared because you didn't know yeah, where you got there? I didn't know what the hell happened. Anything could have happened to me. Yeah, anything could have You could have killed somebody. You never know. I would have never known because I really do not remember. The one Halloween where you walked in and I was asleep on the floor. I don't think you remember what happened was I got really drunk with Zach and I tried to walk back home, which we live by 7-Eleven, and Michelle and I, I fell asleep on the bleachers because I sat there to, to, to get the smell off before I got home because I thought you were home and I fucking passed out on the bleachers, <laughs> woke up, walked home. Right when I got home, you weren't there. I'm like, oh, thank God. I remember I just, something happened, I got lightheaded and I fell and hit my whole side of the face on the coffee table. <clears throat> oh, you're not I knocked out. myself asleep. <laughs> All I remember is falling and the coffee table hitting my face and I woke up, you going, hey, Go to your room. I was like, oh <laughs> shit, I'm tired. But actually, I was concussed. You hit that that weed pipe, nail polish pipe. No, what for? Now I just breathe the air in here. All right. It is terrible in here. It's great in here. This day, it tastes so good. We used to live in L.A. Mm -hmm. And she used to date some guy named Robert. Oh, talk about him. Anyway, do you remember the time that his cat pissed yeah, all over yeah, the wall? Yeah. So one time, guys. This guy's cat pissed all over the wall in my room, in the corner of my room. And he came up and tried to blame it on me. I was like, kid, like, I didn't do that. I was like six years old, seven probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was me. 
are you ready for what happened? I just told her it was me finally because I forgot about the story. Fuck this guy. Yeah, she's like, oh, Thomas, you're a national little kid. Listen to why. I didn't like her boyfriend, Robert. He was kind of lame. I was like, you know what? I fucking hate that guy, Robert. I don't like his ass. He's fucking lame. He tells me to do shit. And even though it's unreasonable, like, yo, shut the fuck up. It's 7.30. Get ready for bed. Fuck you. In my head, it was making me watch James and the Giant Peach. It's the only good thing he ever did for me. I had to go to the bathroom and I went... I'm going to piss on the floor and make Robert clean it up. Because I was thinking, how can I get back at him and just me and him know that it was me? Mm -hmm. And no one else in the fucking... I was a little vindictive little bastard. Pissed on the wall in the corner of the wall. I pissed. And then I peed up the wall a little. <laughs> you know, little kid shit. I peed up the wall a little bit and it was all dripping on the floor. Grabbed the cat and I set him next to it. Robert! Your cat peed all over the wall. So he walks in and he looks at me. And he looks at the wall. And he looks at me again and goes, did you fucking piss on the wall? And I looked at him and go, why would I do that? That's crazy. There's piss this high off the wall. How the fuck did a cat do that? Emily! He started screaming for you. And I went, why would I pee on the ground? And I remember in my head, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> and me and him are looking at each other. He's tall as shit. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at him as a little kid. And you walk in, you look at, how the fuck did you not think that was me? Were you fucking high? Why did you not think it was me? It was up the wall. And you didn't think it was me for some reason. I don't know how, because, because I looked at it and I Why went, would you do that? Thank you. That was my only excuse. Why would I pee on the wall? <laughs> anyway, I looked at Robert as he got all the cleaning shit and cleaned it. And I looked at him like, yeah, it wasn't me. And I remember I walked into the living room, right? We had that fucking poster of the snake and the pregnant lady. Yeah. Yeah. I sat down. And then, like, all the lights from the stage came in and just spotlighted me. And I just, like, an evil grin. And then I went on with my life. Dude, how are you sitting in this car? You okay? I'm going to open this. Go ahead, roll down. Roll the window down. My eyes hurt. You look hot as shit. I am like <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want to hit it. Why did the Amazon guy wave to you? Oh, he smelled the weed, huh? Of course he smelled it, dude. Oh, he looked back again, yeah. I had the window open. Prime, do you remember the time? Isn't it funny that we're both grown and we're like, that kid. We're hiding from the hiding kid. Hiding from that kid. <laughs> It is weird. You didn't smoke weed when I was a kid? Uh, I did. Yeah, hold on. When did you stop smoking weed? I never really stopped. I so just, weed, like, did you stop smoke weed when bit? I was in high school? Probably. You fucking asshole. Why? You do as I say, not as I do. Remember when I was a kid? Hold on, right here. Look at the camera. Remember when I was a child and you're all, if you join a gang, I'll fucking kill you. And then I'll 10 years later, 10 years later, you fucking married a white supremacist gangbanger. Oh, no, put you on blast. So here's your chance to All say right. why. Hold on. Straight up, for real, why the fuck were you interested in a fucking guy that had all those horrible tattoos? Go. He looked like Axl Rose when I first met him. I remember him. He did look like okay, Axl Rose. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to know. Axl Rose when, from the 80s. When you found out, when you go, hey, what are those bolts? What does white is right mean? You first saw him and you go, hey man, what's that tattoo? Hey man, what's up with that tattoo? What about that one? Nothing made you go, I am not white. Even though I look white, my mom is a Jewish woman. Grandma's Jewish lady. Why didn't you go, hey man, are you a white supremacist? Because I did. All your, then what did you say when he said, he said yes. No. Yeah. What the fuck? He said no. He said no. He said, these are all prison tattoos. Okay, I know but that because... when he was on the streets, he didn't act like that's that. That's 100% true. Even getting involved with that. Your kids are brown. I have no excuse for that. <laughs> it didn't scare me. Oh, did not scare the danger you're putting all of us in. Yeah, because there was that. some danger there for a while. Yeah. You were, like, basically in no danger. But in the worst of danger. You're more in danger of becoming... A Mexican gangbanger than a white supremacist. But mom, your concept and logic. But that's what I was thinking at the maybe. time. Like, oh, you remember that part in Billy Madison? I award you no points. Everybody in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. That's how I feel about your concept of you're not going to join a white gang. So I'm not a join a white gangbanger family. 
<laughs> so he'll never join a Mexican gang. It's the dumbest shit I've ever no, heard. I, I, I can't function no more, you dick face. Stop <laughs> it. Why are you fucking with me? I had to. So I brought this. Oh my God, no more. You don't have to hit it. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to pack the bong while you try to uh, explain yourself. I'm not trying to explain that no more. I'm explain pleading yourself. all the fifths. Da, 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 da. White supremacy gang banger. Explain yourself. Come on. Are you singing Owner of a Lowly mm -hmm. Heart? That's exactly what I was singing. Is that it? You have no explanation. No. That's an that, that's that an was answer. Just straight ignorance. That, on my there. Ah! There's a lot of things that you saw or were like Exposed. a lot of crazy. I was a an idiot. I was an idiot. I was like, just fuck it. We're all going to die someday. I know, but I was a child. <laughs> I'm fine. No, I'm not. Child. You can't be fine for all the shit that I put you through. No, I'm fine with it. That was just really well, good stories. I'm like, damn, that was me. I forgot about that. There's a lot of fucked up shit I remember, but now it's like, damn, that was fucked up. That's a good ass scene. I'm about to put you on the spot again. You ready? So my mom fucked up and told me a little piece of information that she shouldn't have. When I was conceived. No! <laughs> So apparently my mom and no. dad both took acid and were all fucked up the day the night that I was conceived. And is that why my brain is so fucking fucking weird? For murdering me, for smoking weed, let alone you didn't know I was selling weed. And now I just make fun of stupid things and get high as fuck on the internet as a job. How do you feel? Oh, I think it's great. Speaking to the microphone. It's awesome. It's I'm very awesome. proud of you. No, thank you. Both of you. You guys are doing really good. She actually does like it, which is the best thing you could ask for. But if she didn't like it, I would still be doing this shit. So everybody out there, like my parents, would disown me. Fuck them. No, you're um, an adult. Exactly. You do what you want to do when you're 18 years old. That's their life, not yours. Do what you want, guys. Do what you want. No matter what, because I would never thought I'd be doing this shit. 10 years ago. You were a pretty good kid. Yeah, I was telling nice to everybody. You were a good kid. Yeah, I was nice, even though I just did a lot of drugs. You and your sister were both good kids. Yeah. It was cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know if there's anything else that I was going to talk about. Um, I think we pretty much covered everything. I should pack another bowl real quick. Do you have anything else to say? Dude, I am so stoned right now. This is not cool. I still have to go make lasagna. I'll help. How? I'll fucking cheer you on. Okay, look, people. All these stories he tells you, they they happened. Okay, they happened. I was nuts. He was a good kid. His sister was a good kid. I didn't get normal till when? I was like 21. Yeah. And I had a little one. Fuck yeah. I think I got about almost everything I needed to get. I didn't make fun of you too bad. I didn't embarrass you too bad. But my excuse is, this is why I get to make fun of you now. Yeah, but you kind of disabled me. Okay, I got your high as shit. It's too high. I can't function. <laughs> That's so good. That's you, good. It's like sedated. Like, all sit there. It. Sit there and take it. Just so saying. the reason why I get to do this now is because you were such a dick when I was younger that now I get to make fun of you about it since you're not a dick anymore. Reasonable. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for actually sitting through this, which yeah. is awesome. Because I'm legitimately pretty fucking high. Mm -hmm. So, so you must be high as shit. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you guys for watching. This has been the story time you guys keep asking for. Slight difference. We're uh, hotboxing my mom's car instead. <laughs> Mom, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Dope Zola. Have a dope ass day.